So, here's a look at a bunch of space games that you may not have heard about. Most of these are set to release either this year or early next year. All of them are a part of the current showcase on the Steam and Next Fest, which you can see over on Steam, and each of them have demos available. In this video, I'll be taking an overview of a few that caught my attention. I'd also like to follow up later with a detailed video on a few of these games too, so keep an eye out for that. Also, this video is sponsored by Squarespace, more about them at the end of the video. Now first up is Astral Shipwright. This title is set to release on the 2nd of September. It's a full-on spaceship building game, so quite possibly something for those of you who like Kerbal Space Program and similar such titles. The game description page states that, as the ship's captain of a small tug, invest into more and more capable components and build your dream ship. The current trailer is pretty short, but the visuals do look nice. The game appears to have orbital mechanics, which is a really nice touch. It also looks like there's some trading opportunities built in, along with resource gathering. Exploration also looks to be a thing, and I assume you'll be doing this with the new ship that you're building along the way. Next up is Moon Farming. I actually really like the look of the trader on this one. There's something about the grey, barren aesthetics of the moon which really makes things stand out to me. As the title suggests, this is literally about farming on the moon. The idea is to build a moon base and then undertake vertical farming in order to grow a variety of crops. It looks as though players will be able to use robots to help manage the base and the farming, but this will have to be balanced against fuel usage. The surface of the moon itself will also be explorable through the use of moon rovers. Evasive Maneuvers. This is a spaceship-focused arena game. This one looks to be very fast-paced and is visually pretty as well. The idea is to play as a runner who has to escape the map through a warp gate whilst being chased by hunters who are trying to prevent you from reaching your goals. The race looks to be set against the clock. It's also a multiplayer title with teams of between 2 and 12. Reddick Space is on the complete opposite end of the spectrum to Evasive Maneuvers. This one is slower paced and more cerebral. Reddick Space then is a turn-based roguelike RPG hybrid. The player takes on the role of a Starship pilot undertaking procedurally generated missions. As you can see, this is a hex-based game. The developers also state the title contains a storyline which should add an additional layer to things. On initial inspection, this title seems to have some, or quite some depth to it, but we'll have to wait and see how that plays out. This is definitely a title I want to take a closer look at then, I'll be picking up the demo for this one and making a video on it, so do keep an eye out for that. Terry and Victor is perhaps one of the largest games on this list in terms of scope. Here, Plans will take control of the nations of Earth with the goal of expanding across the solar system. Visually, Terry and Victor looks fantastic. There's a huge variety of locations from different planets to moons and asteroids, 300 different locations in fact. Beginning on Earth, it is the player's job to use geopolitics, proxy wars, as well as economic leadership to grow the power and influence of your chosen faction. Players will have access to politicians, scientists and operatives in order to help them achieve this. Eventually, the player's reach will extend into space and then throughout the solar system. The title also features spaceship design with tactical space combat that also includes Newtonian physics. This one is definitely a title to keep an eye on and I'll be talking about it more very soon. Space Mechanic Simulator. This one puts you in the role of, well, a space mechanic. It's your job to fix space stations and spaceships. From what we can see, this doesn't look like just superficial repairs either. The developers claim that each machine has hundreds of parts that can be removed and replaced. All of this will take place around three separate celestial bodies. There's not a lot of information on this one and the trailer currently is pretty short, but I feel that you should get a bit of an idea of the basics for what this is all about. The Pegasus Expedition is a grand strategy sci-fi game that sets players with the task of saving humanity. With humans then facing a threat at home, the game pushes players to undertake expeditions into the Pegasus Galaxy in order to find a safe haven for Earth's population. 
This then is a game about conflict, expansion and governance where you will take control of a fleet of ships to achieve your goals. The Pegasus Expedition appears to have all the ingredients for a true F4X title and one that is galaxy spanning at that, quite possibly taking a few cues from Stellaris. The game will also allow players access to diplomacy, technology as well as fleets and officers. I really do like the artistic style of this one and it actually reminds me a lot of these 16-bit error games. So that's a few space game titles that really stood out to me from the Steam Next Fest. As I said, I'll be taking a closer look at a few of these, and for the ones that really stood out to you, well, do let me know in the comments section below. Talking of things that stand out, how about creating a fantastic website that stands out from the crowd? To do this, Squarespace is on hand to really help you out. From blogging platforms with threaded conversations, likes and replies to third-party extensions that allow for the management of inventory, product promotions and bookkeeping, Squarespace is a complete solution for your online needs that even includes the ability to create gated members-only content. Go to squarespace.com for a free trial and when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com forward slash obsidian ant to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain.